Hi, I'm Kelsey and I'm a master aromatherapist and teacher among other things and we are continuing our journey to talk about essential oils for each chakra and now we're going to talk about the solar plexus. So for those of you who don't know, the solar plexus is often associated with the color yellow and you can find it just below the diaphragm and it's often associated with the digestion system and it's also about courage self-worth, knowing who you are, taking action. Um, you think about the golden sunshine, right? The god of Ra in Egyptian mythology, those kinds of things. Um, so again, trust your gut intuition of whatever is calling you to help empower and charge and cleanse your solar plexus. But now there's four essential oils that we're gonna talk about that have come forward for this discussion. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is bergamot. <laughs> now, I'm not surprised that she has come forward. So if you've seen the fruit, um, it's a citrus fruit. And um, it kind of has like a bumpy, uh, unsmooth, I'm not going to say ugly, but some people might call it um, ugly because it's imperfect, right? It's like bumpy and misshapen and, and the rind is like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um, and what Bergamot teaches us is how to find your inner beauty and your outer beauty and to see how precious, how beautiful and unique you really are and to stop comparing yourself to other people and to really own yourself, right? Stop, it's just stop it. Stop comparing yourself, stop putting yourself down and to really create those positive affirmations that you need to continually tell yourself until you believe it. Um, and so she is incredibly power in that regard. And she's also an antidepressant. Um, she's made from the rind of that fruit. So thinking about, she's that provides that soft protective layer to the squishy, juicy insides of us, right? So she's very protective in our journey as we go through this as well, because it takes a lot of vulnerability and sensitivity to really go into our shadow side of, why do I not think I'm beautiful? Why don't I think I'm good enough? Where is that coming from? She will help you illuminate the way to guide you into those recesses and to start loving yourself because you are amazing. Absolutely, you are amazing. And the world should know who you are and what your purpose is. And it's, it's a shame the people that don't share their gifts with the world because we are missing out. And it's being, you are being selfish by not sharing your gifts. Right. So number two, Amiris. Now, Amiris is a, a sister to the sandalwood family. So sandalwood, it can kind of be kind of uh, um, expensive, especially the sandalwood from India. So my clients that are on a budget, but they really like sandalwood, I'll, I'll say, try Amiris. <laughs> and you know she's slightly different from sandalwood but she has those similar properties especially physically um so why is amiris coming forward for the sacral so this amiris she is from haiti um and she is made from the wood and the branches so when we're thinking about this she is coming forward and saying do you know who you are are you incredibly strong and know deep down in your bones who you are, that you are unshakable and unbreakable, because if not, you got some work to do, <laughs> right? And especially coming from Haiti, I mean, my goodness, that country has been through it, right? From colonialism to the slave trade, oh my gosh, it's just, wow. But if you meet someone, if you are from Haiti, you're amazing. Um, and I have friends that are from Haiti and they're just absolutely beautiful and resilient and strong people. And I admire them so much. Now I'm generalizing. <laughs> you can't generalize the entire people from an entire country, but um, there is that essence in the culture, right? Um, so what Amiris is helping us to do is to really dig down deep and be strong in who we are and to be proud of who we are and to know that we have the ability and creativity to take action to extend and grow our branches out and we can expand our network we can grow massively so that our branches are not just here but they're way out here right okay and then next we have tea tree <laughs> so um tea tree a lot of people are familiar with this, especially in the essential oil um but if you get a chance to have a medicinal grade especially with some of the earth 
it is night and day. I, I didn't like tea tree when I first started down the essential oil path until I smelt and worked with this one from the wisdom of the earth. It is completely different. And and so why is she coming for our solar to our solar plexus? No, because this the solar plexus is, is rooted where it is and has to deal with self-worth and taking action, a lot of times this is where we can get energetic attacks from other people. This is where we can get gunk stuck, where people can put in hooks and, and things into us. Maybe it's where people put jealousy and envy about who we are and what our purpose is and taking action. So tea trees come forward to help us cleanse and clear that crap. So she is the powerhouse in getting rid away, getting rid of lower energies, negativity, and anything like that to break free of that and to move forward into being ourselves and expressing ourselves. Um, she's also great as an immune st stimulant as well. So if we're feeling a little under the weather and, and maybe like, oh, well, I don't feel like it today. She helps to give that energy boost to get things done that we need to, to be our best selves. And then last and not least, we have Moena. Now Moena, I love her. She's from Peru. So again, uh, you think about the Peruvian energy. If you, if anybody have you, if any of you have been to Peru, it's a beautiful, beautiful country and in completely different, diverse ecosystems. On one side you have the ocean, and then you have the arid deserts, and then you have the Andean mountain range, and then you go over and you're into the jungle. <laughs> and it's like out of this world. Um, and so Moena, what what is she coming forward to? She's coming into to embrace all the different aspects of ourselves. Um, she's also a, a warming essence as well. So again, cleansing and clearing with love and that, that mothering, nurturing love. You know, maybe growing up as, as a child or a teenager, formative years, we didn't have that person that was our cheerleader. And if we did, maybe we just need a little bit more. And so she's coming to cheerlead you of saying, hey, I love you. I got you. I see you. Don't play small, play big. Do you know how many, how talented, multi-talented you are? Don't just play that one little skill that you have. Explore all the skills that you have. Ah. So anyway, those are the four that come forward. Let me know if you have any questions. Put in comments below, reach out, and let me know how it goes.